what's up everyone welcome welcome back to our channel thank you so much for your support road to 2000 subscribers we are remaining with less than 10 subscribers but i think seven around seven six subscribers to 2000 subscribers i really really appreciate you so so much guys so right now i'm going to luanda market i have my bag over here let me show you so this is what i'm carrying my bag i'm just from home that's home my aunt's place yeah that's home then you can see these are our goats they are grazing so right now we want to go to the market today is market day it's on thursday yeah and i think i'm going to post this video today so today is on thursday i want to go there and see what i can get i have some few errands that i'm going to run over there and guys so today's video i just want to share with you guys uh, i was looking for someone maybe who can take me to Rwanda. so today i want to share with you guys why i why i have not been posting on my channel if you go and check my last video the last video that i did it's like two weeks ago so if you follow follow very well my videos you will realize that i came here for burial yeah we lo i lost my sister-in-law wife to my cousin and i i was staying i was living with them so staying stay living so it was really sad for us losing her she was really really young but it's life it's life and it's part of journey you know so we just have to accept and move on i want to show you some sweet potatoes over here i was telling my aunt that these sweet potatoes they are ready i don't know if, but you see all of this from that other end where you just came from to the other side so those are sweet potatoes and i think they are ready so these are we know that they are ready that, like the leaves will get yeah you see right now they are very very ready i think the, the, she told me that they are six months they are supposed to be ready in six months and you see the difference when they are planted this place will be full of these leaves but you see they are drying up yeah they are drying up they are not fresh so this is what i'm talking about they are not fresh yeah so i was trying to tell her that they this year sweet potatoes they are ready we just have to come and try yeah and i think i'll do that with you guys i'll show you so i came here in the village i lost my sister-in-law and it was crazy guys i think you understand yeah you just understand a home busy with funeral arrangements burial arrangements and the sad thing that happened again electricity yeah we have not been having electricity for the past one week so you can imagine it has just been a crazy crazy week so you see i have to charge my phone somewhere else i have to take it maybe in the evening that evening i don't have time to shoot you know i have to take it there in the morning yani it is just just crazy yeah that's what i can tell you but right now i'm back like i never left yeah so Woo! yeah so guys right now i'm back like i never left yeah so this was really but the, the the train usually pass here but not the passenger train just the cargo train yeah the the one that carries goods it transports them to yala i think yala and also butere i'm not sure if it reaches butere but yala yeah and malaba if i'm not wrong so the passenger train is not yet passing here yeah so let me get someone maybe who can take me to luanda market let me see this guy yeah so this guy is going to take me to luanda he's here 
my friend and our neighbor also. Woo. But guys, usually overcharge me. <laughs> Don't get the same one. Let's go to Rwanda market. I'm going to see you later. Yes. Then we go home. I'm going to look for some chicken. Then we buy tomatoes, uh, onion. Then we go back home. I'm going to try and do this, guys. We know it's market being crowded, of course. Yeah, so I think I'll also get some socks for my kid. My aunt already bought some fish, so I'm not going to look for vegetables. Just sweat pans and some other things. And then we go back home. Yeah, I'm not sure to say. And I also want a cape, guys. It's really, really sunny. 
I need a cape. Let's see if you are going to get one. Let me show you our market how it looks. Let me show you our market how it looks like. But you see, mostly when the kids are, are close to it's always full. But you know, right now, kids are in school. So it is not that much of a problem at least yeah but when the kids are close school guys ah, you won't even want to find yourself here because it's always crowded always here so this is the market we have some second hand clothes over here Ooh, these are shoes Oh, I think there's a nice rubber. Which number is this? You see, this one looks better. Hot one. We are twenty percent happy. So the shoes are three hundred shillings. But they they are good. They're not bad. In fact, this one, I love this one. Is it my touch? They are not bad guys. I think because she just opened them today, so they shall go at a hundred shillings, fifty. Yeah. So I think it's because she just opened the bell today. You see, it's busy. I love second hand clothes, by the way. That's it, I'm You see, this dress is 30 shillings. So, let me see if I'm going to get a nice dress here. So, if you want materials, this is where you can get them. African materials, we call them kitenge. Yeah. So, I think I saw some from the other side. Go and see if you're going to get one. So, this is the market. And today is market day. So, they have shears. This is a cutting. By second hand. No, I thought I'll get them here. Because I usually see them there. But you can still go around and check if you're going to get some. So this is the upper side of the market. I just told you today is not that easy because the kids are really good. But mostly when they are close to those guys, maybe it's a little bit easier. I don't know where I'm going to get the sweet pants. So they are one hundred. If you're going to get one, then I'll show you later when I'm done. So guys, I got this. It's a tight. Yeah. I got this one black I love black of course so let's see what you're going to get next yeah so there's just a tight I want to look for some sweatpants then we see what next check this other side I just got one 
Let's check these other five, then we go back to my market. I know the other five, the downside, you're going to get them. Let's just check around. We're not in, in a hurry. I'm not sure. Uh, you see? I think this is the end, so. This is my yellow. Let's check and try this. So I don't think if I'm going to get one, let me just go back to the main market and check out what was here. But I need a cap. I told you it's so hot. So you, you see, at least a cap will help me a lot. I have a lot of sunburn. If I show you, I think I'll show you later. The day that I was live streaming the barrel of my sister in law, guys. Hey, it was crazy, crazy, very, very crazy. So I have sunburn. That's what you have. That is the we always call it mud market, I think something like that. Because we have a lot of do I call the mud people? You <laughs> see that the the first person because because of a bang. Yeah. Because of marijuana. So they take it a lot here. I told you this is small Jamaica. The small Jamaica. So People here, a lot of young men take it a lot, use it a lot, yeah. Or oh, they say they smoke it a lot. Yeah. I don't know exactly where I'm going to get these weapons. Because the place that I thought I'll get them, they're not there. Oh, let, me show. let me show you where they sell cereals. This is a ginger and mangoes. If you want mangoes in wholesale, you're going to get them over there. So this side is for grocery. Let's check before we continue looking for the sweatpants. These are just onions, mostly here cereals. So this is the main market for cereals. You see, beans and maize. I don't know what are these. No. So. This is the main market for cereals. Anything to want for cereals, you're going to get them here. The wonder, wonder make it. You see, have rice, yellow beans, like everything. So, oh, it's hot. It's hot, man. Let me hope that I'm going to get what I'm looking for. So these are cassavas. Mostly it's used in Uganda. You see the time we were in Sebania, they mix this cassava, the cassava with sorghum. Yes, with this sorghum. So 
mostly for them they don't use mail. Yeah, that's what I realized. There's a time mother took loud, they prepared it for us and it was so so yummy. And for that one I don't think if it's me vegetables, maybe beef for my ma or chicken or meat. Yeah. It goes well with anything with the soup by for these green vegetables. So let me show you. This is where you see maize, cabbages, anything green, vegetable. Let me say anything vegetable. So this is the market for vegetables. Nyambi, kopoa, mika video to kidogo kidogo nike song. Aya, kopoa. So you see, if you want green vegetables, that is the market. And if you want tomatoes, this is the place. Let's go away from this mental, that other side, and this side. Tomatoes, and I think I'll also show you where they sell fish. Hi, Mambo. Hey, yes, salamu. Salami, auntie. Mwapi, auntie. Wapi, abuju. Abuju, ame baki nyumbani. Wale nyandu, abuju nyumbani. Hey. Aski, boa. Let me show you where they sell fish. So, guys, let me show you where we buy fish. Yes. Oh, but they're not here. Why? Oh, they're not here, but I think they're the other side. I think I showed you last time. Let's go and see if you're going to get them over there. So this side, greens, any green, you're going to get it here. Then tomatoes, the other side, tomatoes and the onions. And if you want fruits, I think I showed you I can get mangoes and mostly fruits. This side and the other side of the road are the main road yeah. mostly that's where you're going to get fruit yeah. so i don't think if i let me just go and show you where you can buy fish just in case you visit rwanda and you don't know the exact place to buy them so you can just wait this video and it will direct you. But today at least I'm happy the market is not that crowded. Then we have sweet potatoes over here. This is the exact place that you know if I want to buy sweet potatoes, I'll come here. So I don't know any other place. Just know the, that place. So if you want chickens, here they are. This is the place to buy chicken and my aunt wanted some medicine I, I don't even remember the name and the place where she, she sent me so if you want silver fish and the fish mm -hmm. it's hot man so this way you are going to get your fish you see Woo. It will do Monday and Thursday in our homes. Just know we are going to have Mostly Monday and Thursday because it's market day. So you see, these ones are different from these ones. These ones are a bit bigger. So these are the silver fish. Yeah. They are somehow different. So we have a bambala, we call it a bambala. So this is the fish market. You see how they are arranged, guys. We have the other. This one is very, very big. The fish market is very, very big. I think people love eating fish. I don't know. You can see this one is very, very big. Sasa? Yeah. So let me show you how they are. I think I should show you how they are frying them. I don't know if they are going to accept, but you see, here they are. Sasa, channel on Yeshikidogo. So these ones have already been fried, and these ones, they are still fresh. Then, let me show you where they are frying, they be frying them. Woo now here they are. So, 
when they have been tried it like that, you can just eat it, with, eat it like that. You don't need to cook them again. Yeah. But for those ones who love soup, you can still cook them. Yeah. Like for me, I love soup, so when I buy them, I have to cook them again. Yeah. And put some soup, a little bit of soup, you know. Guys, it's really, really hot. So now I think. I don't know if I'm going to end this video here so that I can focus. You know, when I'm doing this, the percentage of me focusing is very, very high. So maybe I'll show you later what I'll have bought. Then, yeah, I think I'm going to show you later. La let me go around, check what I want to check. Then we'll meet later. Yes.